In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening, everyone. And thank you for joining us this evening as we come together for our Mass for Father Martin. Wherever you've come from, and I know the people have come a wee, wee, wee bit away, even our Drossen, um, you're well, very welcome here. But I want to say a special word of welcome to Father Martin's family members who are with us this evening. And we're very grateful that you're with us tonight as we come together to give thanks to God for Martin's life and for the, the way in which he touched so many people's lives. Like yourselves, we've been shocked and saddened by his death. But I'm also aware of that overflowing of love. People, whenever they speak of Father Martin, they do so with a smile on their face as they remember that story, that joke, that situation in which they found themselves in. So we show our love by celebrating Mass here together asking God to help us at this time and to keep Martin safe. As we come to Mass, what I thought was we might remember that particular story that we might want to tell someone of our meeting or situation with Father Martin or that joke he told that we want to retell and share and we're giving thanksgiving to God for those moments that have been so special in our life. In preparation for Mass, as always, we ask God to us, to raise May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May our prayers rise up to you, Lord, and may the soul of Martin, your servant, be welcomed into eternal joy. For as you were pleased to create him in your own image and adopt him as your own, so command, we pray, that he may have a share in your inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. The truth I have now come to realize, he said, is that God does not have favorites. 
but that anybody of any nationality who fears God and does what is right is acceptable to him. It is true God sent his word to the people of Israel, and it was time that the good news of peace was brought by Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ is Lord of all. I have heard about things in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth, how he began in Galilee after he had been baptized. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit. And because Jesus went about doing good and curing all that had fallen into the past. was in Jerusalem. Also to the fact, they killed him by hanging him on a cross. Yet three days afterwards, God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but only by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead. And he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people and to tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone, alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness, that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. The word of the Lord. like to stand to proclaim the gospel.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On the first day of the week, two of the disciples were on their way to a village called Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem, and they were talking together about all that had happened. Now as they talked this over, Jesus himself came up and walked by their side but something prevented them from recognizing him. When they drew near to the village to which they were going, he made as if to go on, but they pressed him to stay with them. It is nearly evening, they said, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. Now while he was with them at table, he took the bread and said the blessing. Then he broke it and handed it. It's on evenings like this that I wish we charge for parking. <laughs> As we come together, I'm reminded that in the RCIA, the right of Christian initiation of adults, people share their story, their story of coming to faith. And they'll speak about how people have influenced them on that journey, people who've made a difference for them, people who've helped them come to God or come to know God. And every story is different. Every story is unique. We all have a story within ourselves of our knowledge and friendship with Father Martin. Something to tell, because he touched so many people's lives. When I came to St. John's, Father Martin warned me that if you have an evening mass on a certain day of the week, the women who will be coming into mass will be carrying carrier bags, Safeways at that time, Morrison's, and you'll hear clinking because no doubt there's bottles in those but don't forget. And he's well, empty poo containers. But um, one of the stories that came about, and I did have another from Eddie, he had the impressions of the man here. On a Saturday, getting a call from Parkhead or near Parkhead to say traffic's bad or the game's gone into extra time. I'm not going to make it back for the vigil mass. 
Will you go and do it? And of course, he never let him down. And then he reminded me of one of Martin's favorite stories of when songs of praise took place here in St. John's, a time when he was with Canon John Walls. And one of the producers, one of the makers, said to them, it's time to mic up. So Canon John disappeared, only to appear a little later, stripped to the waist, with a towel round his waist, thinking he was going to be made up. It was makeup, not mic up. And Martin loved to tell that story. Martin brought fun and laughter to young and old, to rich and poor. And he was a person we knew who lived what he believed and professed. And as we hear our readings this evening, we think of that Easter message too. In Martin's spirituality, he reached out to others. And I sometimes wondered if Bishop Taylor and Canon Walls were an influence on him to go to one of the poorest countries in the world, Ecuador. And we all know his enthusiasm, his desire to give people a better way of life. Our Easter, our Lord and his followers, involves that movement, that journey, from darkness to light, from death to life, from grief to joy. And our prayer is that the of Christ may bring us some salvation hope. Christ may shine through in our own words and prayers as we give thanks to God for Martin's life we ask God to help us at this time to appreciate the great gift of faith that faith and belief in the life death and resurrection of our Lord and in the message that Easter brings us that Jesus is alive he is risen and that message, I will be with you always. Yes, to the end of time. Now Helen is going to lead us in our prayers of the faithful. With faith and trust in God, we present these, our petitions. We pray for Father Martin Chambers, priest and brother in Christ, that he may now enjoy the banquet of eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for Father Martin's family and friends. May we find consolation and hope from the loving Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for peace in the world and into war and conflict. May every human life be accorded and respect. Hear us, salt, work, poverty in our world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for vocations. 
May we hear the call of the Lord to serve one another. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, accept these and all our prayers and grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. This evening we have an extended procession uh, before the bread and wine. And with these items, we remember our association with Father Martin. So I'm going to ask um, Father John and Father Jerry to come and receive the gifts here at the front. Come now. And the no, no. The first item to be brought down in procession. We remember Martin's association with Lourdes, with E.T. recently, all enthusiasm, excitement in that time. So, first item, Lourdes water. had a very special place in Martin's life and ministry. Of our young people spent time turn they brought a gift from Ecuador and that's been brought forward now. The and in the parish and beyond. Music played an important part in his life and ministry, in schools, in the parish, in so many places and situations. And the guitar represents his music ministry. I've already mentioned Parkhead but we know which team he supported, and he was a season ticket holder, so it's only right that um, the football comes down representing that favorite team. And the next item is an ornament which he gave me. I left me in the house here, and it's an ornament of the Taj Mahal. But, it goes under the bed, and it goes off at two o'clock in the morning <laughs> with a call to prayer. <laughs> we remember to Martin's spirituality, his work with the sacramental preparation teams, his work in different groups, and we bring down the Bible because he proclaimed and lived that gospel message. And finally, we bring down our bread and wine, because it was, as we heard in our gospel, at the breaking of bread, they recognized the presence of Jesus, and Jesus is with us tonight as we break bread together. We'll have our hair. Thank you.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Mercifully receive, we pray, Lord, the offering we trustfully present for the soul of Father Martin. Through this sacrifice, we it as a true remedy. You may grant him everlasting salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone, he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man, he chose to die, so that in your sight, we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make and never cease to gather a people so that from the dark of Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of ye, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of ye, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look with the appreciation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim death you will tell us yourself. Part of your son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint John, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Francis our Bishop the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. <coughs> To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Remember your servant Martin, whom you have called from this world to yourself and grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection where from the earth he will raise us up in the flesh raise up the flesh to have died and Transform our Lord with his own glorious to and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are. We shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Thanks. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, God, Almighty Father, Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Spirit all, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, 
but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter unto my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
Show me no rest. 
Let us pray. Renewed by the nourishment of this sacred gift, we pray, Lord, that Martin may rejoice to have a share in the resurrection of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Would you like to sit down, please? Just a minute. I would just like to say to Father Martin's relatives who are with us uh, this evening that we will be keeping you in our prayers and in our love. Um, and know that will continue here, not just in this church, but for the churches represented here uh, around the three towns and beyond. Um, you'll be very much in our prayers over this time. For those... Um, here, we hope you'll have time to join us in the church hall to continue that story of Father Martin's life and how it's touched our lives. Um, the hall is open for tea and coffee, and uh, we did say about bringing some photographs along. If you have a photograph on your phone or hard copies, then you're welcome to, you're welcome to bring them. And I promised not to edit any of them, so... Uh, um, you welcome in the church hall afterwards. We do have a book of condolence at the back if you'd like to leave a message in that, um, which eventually we will pass on to you and the family. With a congregation like this, it wouldn't seem fair if we didn't have a collection. Um, and so there are some baskets in the porch area, and any just before we stand for the blessing. Born to me. I don't know if it's a Irving trait or not. With the word cheery. Never buy. Cheery. So, cheery. Down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless us all. Holy Spirit. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Sorry, I didn't mention you, but...